What happened at that carnival was a tragedy. One that could have been avoided. If you did not keep so many secrets... Oh, well, what is this, a duet? Since when did you two get so chummy? Don't change the subject. The spirits of vengeance have always been the secret guardians of the parchment of power. Guardians? <laughs> Blaze is probably using the page as toilet paper right now. I met the guy. You're giving him too much credit. We did what we had to do. That secret kept the page out of our enemy's hands for centuries. At what cost? You cannot win this war with secrets. Magic is right. If we're going to stop Lilith from causing any more massacres, we need to come clean with each other. Now. There is nothing else, Captain. I wish I could believe you. So do I. Then I don't see a point in continuing this conversation. Grade A, both. Is Steve Rogers everyone's ideal dad? I see it. I wish I could have helped today, Hunter. I can see you are still upset, Ileana. Of course I'm still upset. Caretaker continuously stonewalls us and expects all of us to just go along and make nice. But it never works out that way. You would think she would have learned by now, but I guess not. She should trust us more. If you were to be completely honest with yourself, you would have to admit that you do not trust her, either. How could I? She keeps too many secrets. She always has, and always will. Distrust only breeds more distrust. Neither Caretaker nor Tony told us she gave the page to Blaze for safekeeping. They should know he's one of the least safe people on the planet. No matter what Robbie says, now all that stands between this realm and Cathan is that overrated stuntman. <sighs> Entrusting it to him was a mistake. If it were up to me, I would entrust the page to you, Ileana. You would? If there is one soul on this team who could handle its darkness, resist its corruptive influence, not shirk in the face of its horror, that soul would be you. Then you know me well. Alas, you are not the one calling the shots. Blaze has the parchment, and I cannot change that. Let's just hope he can hold on to it. Okay, so I'm a Spider-Man caught up in a world of magic and demons. How do I keep getting into these messes? I saw a listing for a four-story walk-up, Upper West Side. Maybe your new sanctum? Tony, I can't think about that now. The sanctum wasn't just a home. It was a part of me. I know, I know. Just thought it might cheer you up. Hey, I heard about this crazy video online. A monkey riding a cat like it's a horse. <laughs> you want to take a look? No. I think you'd love it. Maybe they were enchanted. I said no, Tony. Don't you realize what I'm going through? My whole world has quite literally blown up. I just want to cheer you up, that's all. Hey, you want to curse me? No, 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 just kidding. Uh, don't, don't, don't curse me. Oh, Hunter. They're accusing me of keeping secrets, as if that's the biggest problem we have right now. I don't know, maybe the demonic green sky over New York was too subtle for them to notice? 
I think they noticed. Well, it wasn't intentional. We were supposed to win in New York. We weren't supposed to lose the Sanctum, or Avengers Tower, or Banner. I mean, call me crazy, but would sitting everyone down and telling them all about Blaze and the parchment really have made a difference? I understand why you did it. The fewer people who know about the parchment, the better. That's exactly right. When everyone operates on a need-to-know basis, they can focus. Is that how you were able to focus? Well, no. I need to know everything. Things are spiraling out of control, and right now, I just need to figure out what to do about this prophecy. Do you really think you can stop the Darkhold's prophecy by working in here? Well, I'm kind of known for making the impossible possible. Give me a couple hours and a decent lunch, maybe an Italian hoagie, and I can fix anything. Trust me. If you want to stop the prophecy over lunch, I think you will need a bigger lunch. Ah, well, I need to be careful not to eat too much, especially carbs. I just blow up and, uh, blow up. Huh. Please excuse me. I need to jot down some ideas. Are you making prophecies of your own? Shoo! Go! Go! Genie's at work! I gotta get a sign. Sons and had a few X-Men. Bam! The X-Avenging Sons. Okay, no, the X-Sons who avenge at midnight? Think, Robbie. Think. Is the Abbey like a summer camp? What is a summer camp? I see them in movies. Nico says they are real places. In summer camp movies, people live in the woods and act comedically. There is always strangeness in the background, like hippie aliens, hockey killers, or Cold War espionage with insulting Russian caricatures. You describe a whimsical sort of strangeness. The Abbey always felt darker than that. Way to bring down the room, Hunter. Sorry. Oh, it's fine. It's usually what I do. You're right about the darkness to this place. Comparing the two, I'd feel safer in limbo. to dream of these in limbo.
This does not look like one of Stark's machines. It is more... That looks good. Very nice. You know, it's kind of rude to walk around in here and not give me so much as a hello. I assumed you were asleep. Uh, I don't sleep much, but that doesn't stop me from enjoying the company of a comfortable bed when I spot one. After that fight at the Quentin Carnival, I suppose we all could use a lengthy rest. I can't get too comfortable. Not so long as Sabretooth's still out there. He is your quarry, I take it. I guess you could say that. We have a history. None of it nice. Though he's definitely changed. His nasty side got... well, nastier. From what I have seen, he should not be much trouble for you. I've been tracking and fighting him for decades. If he was easy to handle, trust me, I would have put him away for good ages ago. This last time, though, he's gotten even more deadly. Then I hope you can rise to the challenge. It does not look like you are planning to stay long. Some find our abbey to be a bit... unnerving. Oh, this place is nothing. You'd be surprised at some of the places I've rested my boots. If you talk like that, now you have to tell me some stories. Oh, okay. Let's see. I've been all over the planet. And a few other planets besides. Other... planets? Yeah. We're not alone in the universe, you know. 
There's the Kree, there's Skrulls, there's the Brood. Most aliens you're better off avoiding, but there's a few good ones out there. I'll tell you though, after a while, all you really care about is a nice soft bed. I see the way you're looking at me. Who's this mysterious guy hanging out in my place all of a sudden? Perhaps. Tell you what, I've got a little break between people trying to kill me, so let's have a little chat. What all do you know about this Johnny Blaze? He's a flaming jackass. Used to be known as the Spirit of Vengeance. Until even his attitude got too bad for that job. Seems like he's really committed to the carny life now. Must be the funnel cakes and fried candy bars. Do you think a man like that is up to the challenge before him? Guarding the parchment of power is not a task taken lightly. Yeah, we face some vile customers together. He may not have the flaming skull thing anymore, but he's got guts where it counts. How long have you known this Sabretooth? Seems like you two have a history. His real name's Victor Creed, and you're right. We've got bad blood going back a long time. Believe it or not, we used to be teammates and pals. Kinda. They say familiarity breeds contempt. Yeah, well, they get things dead on sometimes. Didn't take me long to notice he wasn't exactly playing with a full deck. Creed and I have long since chosen to follow different paths. Yet somehow, we keep ending up at the same friggin' destination. You seem like a nomad. But surely you have a place you call home. I guess you could say Xavier's place has been the closest thing to a real home I've ever had. Who? Oh, Professor Charles Xavier. He's got a swanky place outside of New York City. A, a private school. Lots of space and plenty of interesting folk. It's a lot like your Abbey here. Except Charles has a baseball field. Baseball? Yeah. If you got interest, I'd be happy to explain all the rules sometime. You seem to know everyone. I assume you know the Midnight Suns as well? I know some of these kids. Didn't know they got themselves a band name. Who do you know? Magic, for instance. She's the kid sister of a buddy of mine. Pyotr Rasputin. I call him Colossus. Interesting. You and she have similar attitudes. Maybe because we have similar backgrounds. I grew up in Canada, surrounded by wolves. And she grew up in Limbo, surrounded by demons. Which place is worse? Canada or Limbo? Oh, Limbo. They don't have hockey. I have taken up enough of your time. I should go. It's been a pleasure. If you have more questions, you know where to find me. Sir, you there? I'm in the library. It's super important you meet me here ASAP. Nice work out there, newbie. You have so many layers. Infinitely complex. That's good for the old ego. I can hear you standing there, Hunter. What are you reading, Miko? A limited edition print of the Book of Thoth. The Book of Thoth? Where did you find a book of such rarity? I didn't. Someone just left it out. Weird, too, because I was looking for a book on chaos magic so I could understand Wanda's grimoire a little better. I didn't think I was going to find any, since Caretaker probably hid or burned every single text on the topic. But, poof, here this was, waiting for me. Caretaker hid books on chaos magic for a reason. Well, someone ought to tell her books don't bite. Well, not all of them. I do have it on pretty good authority. The Sumerian Book of the Dead will take a chunk out of you if you try to earmark one of its pages. Well, 
I hope you found what you are looking for. I did. There's a historical account of an ancient Egyptian pharaoh who was struck by a dark madness after reading a page from an old book called... <clears throat> the Scrolls of Cathod. Wait, that is another name for the... Darkhold, I know. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if this was the first case of corruption in recorded history. Was this pharaoh's corruption ever purified? Hold up, I haven't gotten to that part of the story. So the legend goes that nothing could cure the pharaoh until this traveling light worker came along, laid his hands upon the pharaoh, and recited an incantation. The pharaoh came back to his senses and returned to his good old classical Egyptian despotty self. Sounds like the best possible outcome was reached for everyone involved. Well, not for everyone. So, like, when the light worker recited the incantation, he absorbed all the pharaoh's corruption into his own body and, uh, died. He did not survive? No. But the lines of the incantation he used are scattered throughout this book. I'm gonna have magic help me transcribe them and see if we can use them to cure Wanda. Let me get this straight. You and Magic plan on piecing together a 100,000-year-old incantation that worked once and killed the person who said it? Yes? Nico, that sounds too dangerous, even for you. I have to try something! Caretaker will not be pleased if she hears about this. Caretaker can deal. Well, I'm gonna find magic, see if we can make a dent in this transcription. I'll give you a shout when we do. Until then, not a word about this to anyone. Glad to see Nico found the book I left out for her useful. Took me a while to dig that one up. Good girl, Charlie.
this bowl always here? This looks like it belongs here. It seems my offering was accepted. Almost as if it were meant to be here. Maybe I should come back later. Who's a good kitty? <laughs> 